controversy is probably the easiest way of making an event newsworthy, but also human interest stories do very well. George Brewster was a working class boy. Um, his family were from Ely, which is a town towards the north side of Cambridge. He was 12 at the time and he was working for the chimney sweeping master, uh, William Wire, who took him to Fulton Hospital, then called Fulton County Asylum, to sweep the chimneys there. George Brewster was the last working boy to die in a chimney. His death led to a national scandal, and which led to the 1875 Chimney Sweepers Act, which meant that child chimney sweepers were no longer used after that year. The local newspaper, the Cambridge Chronicle, reported on his inquest, and that was picked up across local papers across the country and ended up in the Times in London. The boy pulled his jacket and waistcoat off and put a cap over his head, coming just below the chin, and got in. I saw him just as he lay with his feet out. I was backwards and forwards in and out of the room, and in about five minutes when I came in, the boy was in Wire's arms. He was just undoing the handkerchief tied around the cap. I sent the other stoker for Dr Bacon. But despite the effort made to stall animation, the lad died within an hour from suffocation, a quantity of the certain ashes having got into his mouth. Lord Shaftesbury, who had already been campaigning about child labour laws, used the death of George Brewster in Parliament to reignite the campaign which led to the 1875 Chimney Sweepers Act. It's amazing to think how much impact a 12-year-old boy can have on national news and even in Parliament. Tragic news stories capture people's attention and they play on people's emotional reactions in the news, which is why these pop up so often in local uh, newspapers. The campaign about labour laws has been a campaign since 1875 through to the present. It was child labour, it's now working laws are bound trade unions, etc. It's not really changed that much, it's just uh, been updated for the present day. The Cambridgeshire collection here is a wide selection of newspapers, articles, pictures and other sources of information about Cambridge and Cambridgeshire. I'm really interested to see what other people manage to find out.